Well, the focus on Valentine's Day is on romance and dating intimacy. We know it's not easy for everyone. Add in the complications of a cancer diagnosis and your own self-love can also be complicated. ABC 15's The Holani Graf joining us more with this. And you talk to the experts about finding love after cancer in this all-new Health Insider. And this isn't something we often talk about. No, it's not, but it's something that ends up on the minds of everyone who's right. touched by cancer because it does change every single relationship in your life, including the one that you have with yourself. Boundaries change, but that doesn't mean that you can't find ways to open up and let someone in. A cancer diagnosis is a personal journey, but sometimes the impacts are on display for everyone. Hair loss, a mastectomy, fluid bag, and that can be tough to come to terms with when you're thinking about intimacy. How do I show them? How do I tell them? Um... How do I move forward, even if it's an existing relationship, like with a husband or a wife? Nicole McAllister, oncology social worker with Ironwood Cancer and Research Centers, says tell them you had cancer at your own pace, but do tell them. Get your squad together. Get your best friends, um, that person you trust the most. She says practice having the talk. Prepare for questions your partner may have. Set boundaries. Maybe scar tissue is painful. Maybe before a mastectomy, your pleasure point was on your chest and now that part of your chest is gone. Before you take a relationship to the next level, set yourself up for success. Connect with other survivors who've dated. Make a list of your best features and accentuate them rather than focus on areas you may be shy about. Focus on those positives. Maybe your hair's growing back and it's got a little curl to it and it didn't have it before and you like this new pixie look. You know, skin looks a little pale maybe after treatment so Use some new makeup. Go go get some new lip gloss. Really find something that pops. Remember, intimacy isn't all about the bedroom. Being vulnerable can be sexy. Really kind of opening up and asking how they feel on deeper conversations and deeper subjects. Even if it ends up being one date, that's progress. And recovery is all about moving forward. Reminding yourself you have so much to offer and you're amazing, and if that person is worthy of receiving it, then great. And if they don't appreciate it, then they're not the one for you. And if you're married and you thought you knew everything about one another, but suddenly you're navigating these new feelings, she says be open with your spouse, but also boost their confidence as well. Share something, something in them that you find sexy because they might be just as nervous about this new interaction. And in the, in the meantime, Nick, there are so many resources, cancer.gov, cancer.org, AARP, Ironwood, all of them will put you in touch with groups so that you can talk about it with others. And we're linking all of that to this story. I love that you did this as a cancer survivor. I mean, I feel like I got out of my battle relatively unscathed, mm -hmm. but it's just something we don't really talk about. And, and right. to that point, it's hard sometimes to open up that part of your life and share that with a new partner. And I mean, these are just great tips on, yeah. on how to navigate this. And we're not alone by any means. Yeah. Great stuff. No, hey, thank you. All right, I want to switch gears tonight.